Welcome to another quick tutorial. Uh, today we're back in Cinema 4D um, and I'm just going to show you a little bit about how to create curved surfaces using the Bezier tool. Um, this is especially helpful if you're trying to create a curved shape. Maybe you're trying to make the nose of a airplane or a curved roof. Um, but it's a fairly simple technique that you could potentially use if you're creating three-dimensional models. Um, so. Uh, basic gist of it is um, here inside of your subdivisions under your subdivision surface if you click and hold you're gonna find you have six options and we're looking for the bezier um, or bezier if that's how you pronounce it uh, essentially when it's just um, when all you have highlighted is just the model um, it's just gonna look like a flat plane and you can look around there's really no distinguishing characteristics any different from a plane um, but we have a couple of object properties we can change. Um, I'm going to leave the subdivision alone, um, but we are going to mess with the grid points uh, throughout this tutorial. So first things first, we're going to switch over to points mode and just kind of show you how this works. Um, and so right away, because it's three by three, we're going to have three uh, grids of three points. So essentially we have nine points on this object in total. Um, which allows us to have a center point. So this is especially helpful if you're trying to make, you know, a, uh, a curved nose of some kind of object. So if I click on this center point and I just drag it out, you'll see right away I've got already this nice cone-shaped curved side here, um, which I think is, you know, pretty self-explanatory what this could be used for, um, rather than you know trying to get in and take a sphere and you know make it mold to another object you can just take a bezier flat flat side here and you can start messing with these points um, you know I can come in here and take these two points and I could uh, you know shrink them down to a, a curve there and now I've got you know another curved edge on the sides and I could do the same thing on these bottom points bring these together so now I've got this really really quickly made a really nice uniform uh, curved shape um, and this is something that we could you know put on on the edge of another object so if we had a cube um, and we wanted to attach this let's scale this up a little bit I could come in here and I could take my my bezier and I could simply take these points and as long as I've got snapping on, vertex and edge snapping on, um, I can just drag this over here and just snap it onto the edge of my cube and just sort of repeat, repeat the process. Or if I was really being smart about it, I would just click and you know, highlight and click and drag all the points over. Um, but I'm just kind of showing you one by one here. So now I've got this object attached to another, and you ask, well, that, what does that make? That isn't making anything that's useful. Well, maybe you're trying to make a, you know, a skyscraper or a building. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if, if you ever want to change the amount of grid points, it's going to reset the bezier. So if I want to go to four, boom, I'm right back to a flat surface object. So let's, let's do that. Let's take the um, bezier here. I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to rotate it by holding down shift on my keyboard um, 90 degrees and I'm gonna bring this in onto the top of a building here let's call this I'm gonna try to make an artistic kind of roof um, and I'm gonna add I like to keep the number of points odd so that I've kinda have a center line of points if you have an even amount you, there'll always be like kind of a gap there um, you know as with even there is no center point but as long as it's odd, you have a center point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and let's just highlight all these points here. Let's see what happens when we drag these out. Okay. Now we get kind of like a, a curved roof. We still have the flat portion on top. And what we could do is we could drop this down right on top of our cube. And very quickly, oops, we've created a sort of uh, non-traditional looking 
roof or curved edge at the top here. Um, you know, you could even use the um, bezier if you wanted to. Let's just go ahead and create another one um, to make a f uh, somebody's face. You know, let's say you wanted to um, create a nose and a mouth. Um, you know, we could take the center point here. We've got the nose. We could take these points here. Whoops. Select these bad boys and kind of bring it bring back in the mouth shape here. You know, we could create if we had more points up here, we could come in and kind of, you know, pull out some eyebrows. Um, let's go let's go here and here. Pull that out. We pull those up. All right. So, and if you had more point even more points, you could fit, you know, you could you could fill in this area and make the, you know, eye holes or whatever. But you've already got a kind of a basic looking um, you know face shape here just by moving that around um, so you know this may not be something that you use a lot but it's good to know that there is um, you know some interesting uses for uh, the bezier tool maybe you're you know you're just at a loss for what to do with creating some sort of a unique curved object um, you might want to just give uh, give this a try and mess around with it and see if it helps you or if you can find a better process than don't even worry about it. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on the Bezier um, object property here. Um, hope, hope fun, if you found this useful, then I'm glad you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you.